This is an early 19th century English mahogany campaign chest and is really quite important in the history and research of British campaign furniture. But we'll come on to that a little bit later. Let's just have a quick look at it. So we've got lovely shaped escutcheons here. We've got earlier flush brass handles. We've got nice long brass strap work and corners to the top. If we turn it side on, we can see it's not quite as wide as a later uh, campaign chest, a little bit narrower. And we go all the way around to the back, we can see that these wonderful brass straps extend to the back and onto the backboard and really make it that much stronger. The feet have been replaced on them, but it's always had screw-on feet. Now the two sections joining to each other. If we just lift this up, and hopefully you can see that on each corner there's a steel lug which just helps to locate the one section to the other. But also we can now see that the top of the bottom section is finished, it's polished, and that was done so that the two sections could be used independently as a low chest. Right, put that back on and just move the camera in a little bit closer so we can talk to you about why it's such an important campaign chest. Now, this wonderful engraved carrying handle to the side gives us an awful lot of information. We can see, first of all, that it's engraved 19 to the top and the handle below it is engraved 18. So that tells us that the owner had at least 19 pieces of campaign equipment. Each one would have been numbered with an inventory, so uh, his Batman knew what was in which numbered uh, part of a chest or trunk, etc. So they could easily find things on arrival. So 19 sounds like quite a lot, but probably not unusual at that period. But more important than that, we can see that the name engraved is Lieutenant Colonel Garnham, Bengal Army. Now, Robert Clement Garnham was born in 1782 and he was gazetted as an ensign as a 16 year old on the 7th of October, 1798. And he headed out to uh, India to join the 14th Bengal Native Infantry. But he really got his break when he took part in the invasion of Java. And uh, there he met Stamford Raffles, who of course was quite an important name. And he became an aide de camp to Raffles. And following on from that, he was given by Raffles several residencies of cities and provinces in the area and really started to uh, climb up the ranks of the East India Company. So let's turn the campaign chest about face again while we discuss the owner and its importance. So, Lieutenant Colonel Garnham was back home in England on leave in 1822, and in May of that year, he um, rose to the rank of Lieutenant Colonel, the rank engraved to the handles. We also know that he stayed in England until June 1825, when he returned to India. We also know um, that this is an English campaign chest, it's not a colonial chest. So going on those dates, the fact that it's English in manufacture and the engraving to the handles, we know that he bought it between May 1822 and June 1825, which gives us really quite a small timeline for dating this chest. Now, we've had earlier campaign chests before, 
they've been more like uh, domestic chests with slightly overhanging mouldings or perhaps raised handles. This is the earliest datable campaign chest of the form that we know and recognise today. The other chests that we had which were earlier were stepping stones before they reached this very practical compact design uh, which made its portability that much easier. Now Garnham um, as a soldier played quite an important part in uh, the history of the East India Company and the British in India in the early 19th century. It was a time when the ATIC were consolidating their power. He fought in a number of those battles and wars and uh, benefited greatly from his involvement, um, rising up through the ranks and uh, earning well from it, I'm sure, like a lot of the members of the East India Company did. So, from all of that information, this is the earliest datable campaign chest that we know of. And we've got in touch with uh, museums, etc., to find out if they've got anything in their collection. And it really stands out for that. But more than that, what a fantastic history it's got. What a fantastic owner, a uh, friend of Raffles, um, very involved in the British in India in the early 19th century, and a very historical and important piece of campaign furniture.